happy Saturday to you all. Um, hope everybody's having a good day. And thank you for coming on. I, and for those of you who don't know, I am Rosalind Z. Morris. I am the water cop. So I just wanted to take this opportunity um, to talk to you all about you can, you can, yes, you can, you can. Um, definitely want to, first of all, speak to those of you that are on the water challenge. I just want to say to you, um, I'm so happy that you made the decision to invest in your health. Um, you're making, uh, taking an opportunity to do something great by uh, doing something better for your body. So, just want to say, just take one day at a time. Um, you can do this. Water is very important. Um, there are so many, many, many amazing benefits to this. And I just want to encourage you to just keep challenging yourself. For those of you that especially that do not like water, you're going to have to get acclimated to it. But most of all, I usually put information out there so that you guys can understand the benefits. And usually when you become educated on something and you understand the benefits, it makes you more apt to want to um, do better. Um, many times there's a saying when people, um, you know, want better. Um, or when they learn better, they will do better. And oftentimes people don't do better because they don't know. So just want to encourage you to keep drinking. I know, uh, especially for those of you that don't drink um, just very little amounts of water, I know you can see a significant difference in actually um, how your body is feeling. Uh, not only that, you can look at your skin, you can begin to look at the color of your urine. Um, there are so many different benefits out there. And of course, for those of you that do not like water, you're not drinking the water, um, you're going to find it very, very hard, especially if you your first go-to is a soda, a coffee, or actually taking water and mixing crystal like. Uh, crystal uh, light packets into that you, you're, you're gonna see um, there's a difference there's a difference so you're gonna be challenged in that area but I'm here to let you know that you can do this you can do it um, it is so vital it is so important that we begin to become more health conscious and I often put a hashtag or sometimes I post health is wealth and the reason why I say health is wealth, because if you have your health, that is wealth. Um, that is one of the greatest things that you can have because you can have all the money in the world, but if you're not, um, if you don't have good health, you cannot enjoy uh, the pleasure. You cannot enjoy the convenience of what your money can buy. And a lot of people um, that are really well off or <clears throat> shall I say, um, live comfortably, meaning that they can, um, they have the resources to get any and everything that they want. They're not in the best of health. And when people come to a place when they acquire a whole lot of material things, um, especially older people, it comes to a, a time and place in their lives, they see that material things is not all, what it's all about because they, they've had everything that they desired and those things does not do, do not um, excite them anymore. They would rather have their health. So um, if you have good health, you have no need to go to the doctor. If you have good health, you have no need to take different medicines and pills if you have good health. So you can do this. And what is your health goal? I, I wanna pose that question to you on today. What is your health goal? Um, when you have a health goal, you, you need to um, define what do you want and why do you want it. You may say, well, I want to lose weight. Why do you want to lose weight? What, what is your reason for wanting to lose weight? Think about that. 
And when you make a decision on what you want, each day you should be um, reminded of that goal. You should be very intentional about your health goal. And when you're intentional, you're going to do things different. You're going to make yourself a priority. And this is something I want to really put out there and put out there really, really good and drive home. Make yourself a priority. You have to make yourself a priority. It's very important. Making yourself a priority means you come first. You are going to do all of the necessary things to make sure that um, physically your body um, gets the necessary uh, nutrients, uh, vitamins, all those type of things that is needed. You're going to get your exercise in. Mentally, um, you're going to make sure that your mental state is good because mentally, if you're not in the right place mentally, your body cannot function because the mind is the control center. The mind controls everything. So it's so important when you're dealing with your health, your mental state and your physical state, they, they are interrelated. They both are connected and they both need to be working properly. Um, Another thing I want to say is, I want to give you a word on today, and that word is HALT, HALT, H-A-L-T. We must begin to learn and understand ourselves. Um, H stands for hungry. I want to encourage you, when you're hungry, make sure you eat something. Uh, many times people will skip breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And when you don't eat breakfast, that's, that's, the, that's the most important meal. That meal is to um, give you the fuel for the day so that you will have the energy. Not only that, uh, when you fed yourself, you think more clear, clearly as well. Um, when you delay eating, it slows down your metabolism. Breakfast helps jump starts your metabolism. So... When you're with H, the word halt, H is for hungry. So when you're hungry, eat something. Um, halt, the A stands for angry. Angry. When you're angry, calm down. Make sure you get yourself in a better mood. Try to understand why you're angry, what has caused you to get angry, and breathe or, or, or count to 10 calm down again you got to understand what is going on what is going on with yourself um the word l lonely lonely you know if you're lonely call somebody call somebody talk to a friend talk to a, a family member don't don't stay isolated again get in touch with why you're feeling what you're feeling and then the last letter um t tired when you're tired I'll tell anybody, a confused mind does nothing but shut down. So it's so important that you go to sleep. Get the necessary sleep that you need. It is so important. Uh, once you're rested, you're at your best, you're able to focus, you have clarity. Um, so you must, it is very hard to change something that you don't understand. And what I'm saying is, when you don't understand yourself, you don't understand what is going on, it is very hard for you to begin making changes. And it, it, is, it is very um, hard to understand something that you're not at a point that you're ready to look at and face. So when you begin to see those different things about yourself, you need to um, look inwardly and see actually what is going on. I want to encourage those of you that are constantly down in yourself, that are constantly, um, you know, criticizing yourself. Um, I want you to stop that. I want you to stop that. I want you definitely, you have to deal with reality. You got to look at where you are, what you do, what you're not doing that is good. But, I want you to take that and use that to begin to make changes, not to beat yourself down. You have to start 
building yourself up. That's why you need to uh, make yourself a priority. Make sure that your thinking is in the right way. Start thinking more positive. So many, so many of us are hung, hung by the tongue because we just let negative things come out. I'm never going to do this. I'm this, 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 this. You got to start talking about uh, when I and when I this or whatever. So stop the self-criticism. I want you to begin to celebrate your success. Those of you that are on this water challenge, I want you to take one day at a time. If you didn't drink water at all and you were drinking one glass of water, I celebrate you. I commend you for that because you are certainly making progress. Um, Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, you eat an elephant in one bite at a time. That means just continually make um, just small, small changes. They will eventually um, evolve into huge changes. So you want to get that. What you want to do is on this water challenge, you want to build your momentum. You want to get some sense of consistency. And I want to say this. Those of you um, that may not be on the challenge and is watching this video, I encourage you, if you are not a water drinker, a lot of you say, well, I drink water. Yes, a lot of people are drinking water, but are you drinking the water that is necessary for you, your, your body? Um, just say, for instance, you, are, you weigh 200 pounds divided by two that's 100. So you need to be trying to consume at least 100 ounces of water within a day. So um, with that being said, if you do 16 ounces of bottles of water, uh, five times 16, that puts you at what, um, 80 ounces of water. So roughly about what, six, six ounces of water, I think that that's 96. Yes, 96 ounces. So it's about six bottles of 16 ounces of water, six bottles, a person that's about 200 pounds. Now, you don't consume your water back to back. You do it in intervals. When you first work up in the morning, water should be the first thing that hits your system. So I want to just really um, drive this home. You can do this. You can do whatever you put your mind to. Yes, it would be a challenge. That's why it's called a water challenge. It causes you to begin to... Uh, discipline yourself so it's very very important to um, discipline um, yourself and Linda I see you on here you can do this I know with your uh, diabetes it requires you to drink more water and I am just celebrating you to, uh, um, uh, uh, Linda because I from your post you are doing so much better on this water challenge in the last time and Debbie, uh, of course, you are uh, the one of the water queens out of Michigan, Lady Debbie. You do very well. Uh, you look amazing for your age. I, I won't call your age out, but you look fabulous. And of course, Brother Xavier, thank you so much for watching this. And I know for you, the type of job you have out there in the heat, you must stay hydrated. Staying hydrated is uh, so important, especially we're in the um, the summer. Summer is about here, and the temperatures are really increasing. So we have to stay hydrated. If you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated. And make sure you guys are paying attention to your urine. If your urine is dark yellow or really yellow, you are dehydrated. You need to drink more water so that you can clear up your urine. Water flushes our system. It flushes our uh, toxins. If you have to take medicines, if you have to take a lot of medication, one thing you want to make sure you're doing is drinking a lot of water because um, you don't want all of that to set up in your system. So you want your, your liver to filter everything out. Liver needs, our liver needs water. And so it is so important. You want better skin. It's what we're putting in our bodies. What we're putting in our bodies that makes us glow on the outside. I know a lot of people, yes, I'm in skincare. We have to do skincare, but it's mainly what you're putting in your body. Fruits, vegetables, 
all those different things. You know, we have to be eat dairy products in moderation. A lot of people that struggle with acne is because you eat a lot of dairy products. You eat a lot of chocolate. You just got to eat things in moderation. You got to know yourself. You got to get in touch with what your body um, craves. And, and we got to begin to cut back out of this all of these cravings, all of these cravings. And I want to hit this for a second. A lot of people, um, um, a lot of people, when they are lonely, they find food for comfort. They find food for comfort when they're lonely, when they're stressed. Food is their go-to. That's that's the wrong time. That's the wrong thing. Um, you know, where, where is this loneliness coming from? Where is this stress coming from? You want to remove the stressors. You want to remove these things that are causing you stress. One of the best things that you can do when you're stressed, when you um, uh, uptight, you might be angry, you might be overwhelmed, um, you're just so tired, you just feel like you just can't make it. Go take a walk. Walking doesn't cost you anything. It is free. Get out there and walk. Get connected with nature. Get your mind clear. Um, let God lift the heaviness off of your mind. Let God lift the worries off of your mind. Um, when you're walking, we have natural um, endorphins that are going to be released. These are the happy hormones. These are the hormones that makes us feel good. A lot of you, because you, you don't feel well, you need something to lift you up, you need mood things to lift your mood, I promise you, if you put that medicine down, a lot of times that medicine zombifies people. It, it, it zombifies them. Um, you know, people that deals with anxiety and different things. I'm not knocking that, but I'm here to tell you, we have been created. God is so awesome. He has created us to where we have those natural hormones. And if you jumpstart them with exercise, uh, if you go to the gym, that's why people that are in sales and people uh, that are really goal-oriented, they know getting up early, going to the gym, uh, doing a workout, because it gets our mind, it gets our mind uh, uh, so to the point that it, it, it's wired up, it is sharp. We're pumped up. We're ready. We're ready to seize our day. Um, we're speaking to ourselves. We're telling ourselves that we're fabulous and we're wonderful and we're blessed and we're loved by God and we can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthens us. People like that, when they are goal-oriented, they know. They execute their day. They have a plan. They, they execute their day. Their day is mapped out. And I'm a type of person, I am a list person. I believe in um, uh, listing the most six important things of my day. So when I arise, I have everything that is a priority. It is listed. It may be bills. It may be a, an appointment or whatever it is. I am a person. I operate by clarity and organization. I cannot do chaos. I am not a person that just hit it. Well, what's this? Trying to remember everything. I would be 54 years old, and I understand um, I'm not trying to remember everything, just keep it in my head, but I've always been this way. I like being organized. So when you operate on purpose, you're more apt to be more successful. You're more apt to be more productive. You're uh, more apt to hit your goal because you already know what you need to do what needs to uh, come along with that. So I just want to encourage you even with that. Um, start out in the morning. Start out in the morning. Uh, you may be a person, I, I don't like getting up, but I promise you, you, if you're drained, if you're low in energy, you don't have that get up and go, just get out there. Just start moving. Start walking. Uh, I'm not going to tell you stay out there 30 minutes. It's going to be a struggle. Take five minutes. Get some strength in your legs. Um, breathe the fresh air, the clear, uh, the, the 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 clean fresh air. Just start doing it. There's a there are a lot of things that we can do that does not cost us money. 
um, again, if we start eating more healthy, if we start eating more green things, vegetables and fruits and all these amazing things, your body is going to respond so much differently. You're going to begin to feel so much better. Um, it's in the earth. It, it is in the earth. It, it is it is the things in the earth. And, and I want to encourage you all. Um, we got to do better. We got to look at what we're eating. If you don't have anything green on your plate, you don't have any in any uh, vegetables, I encourage you, start doing better. We got to cut out all of this fast food. Fast food, is, it, it, things are designed to get us addicted to it. All of these fried foods. And those of you, I want to hit on blood pressure for a moment. I want to hit on blood pressure for a moment. So many people want to be healed from high blood pressure. So many people... Um, you would rather take the medicine but continue to eat the foods in large portions that you know that are doing harm to your body. You have the power to change it. You have the power to even get off of that blood pressure. If you drunk more water, water helps uh, lower your blood pressure. If you begin walking, walking begins to lower your breath, blood pressure. If you begin to eat more healthy foods and cut out all of the salt, all of the different ports, I'm not saying you can't have any of them, but we must learn moderation and, and, and portions. Yes, again, we must learn moderation and portions. We must learn, instead of you going to have five pieces of bacon on your, your plate for breakfast, do one. Do one and a half. Start weighing yourself. I know you guys can't do uh, a 180 overnight. You cannot. You cannot. But if you take one day at a time and you say, God, help me to begin to make small changes, just small changes. If you make small changes, then you begin to develop self-discipline. Now, self-discipline is not punishment. It's not punishment. I, I want you guys to just change your perspective on self-discipline. Self because God wants us to have temperance in all things. And, and, and discipline is an art. It is an art. And, and, and for those of us that are uh, born-again believers, that's why fasting is so important. It is, it is one of the uh, amazing things that helps us to learn, to learn um, discipline, getting this flesh, getting this right here, because it wants what it wants when it wants it. Stop allowing your body and your cravings to dictate to you. You got to start talking to yourself and say, no, I'm not, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get five cookies. I'll just get, I'll get one just to, um, just to curve that taste or that desire. There's nothing wrong with sweets. There's nothing wrong with cakes. There's nothing wrong with good breads, good butter. I'm here to tell you, I love good bread, love good butter. Oh my goodness. Don't give me no march. I want the real stuff. Butter. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yes. But you got to learn um, how to eat. You got to learn. You you have to learn. And I'm going to say this. It is a war. You're going to have to understand that it is a war that you have to fight for better health. Better health is easier said than done. Just like this water challenge, something small. Water. So many people have missed the significance and the power of water. Water is a game changer. It will, those of you, a lot of you having migraines, I promise you, for some of you, increase your water and you do it consistently. You're going to see some change. You're going to feel a difference in your body. A lot of you have achy joints. Now, for some, you got too much weight. Too much weight on your knees, just too heavy. You need to know this. Again, knowing your numbers. You need to know... What is your ideal weight for your height, your age, what, what, where you should be? You got to know that. Uh, just losing some weight, it will help alleviate the pressure that is on your knees. That's why people that 
have had knee replacement or people that are scheduled to have it, the doctors tell them, before we can do this surgery, I need you to lose X amount of weight. Yes, yes. But with those that are not dealing with knee replacement, if you begin to drink more water, a lot of times you're having these aches and pains because you're dehydrated. Water helps lubricate our joints. It helps lubricate our joints. So um, you, you got to know the benefits. And that's my thing. I always say I try to really educate myself on a lot of things because a lot of things I don't do it because I enjoy it. Um, per se the taste or um, whatever I do it because I understand the benefits of it and when I want to benefit something and I want something good for me I would do it a lot of things I'll just turn it up and I'll, I'll drink it I don't try <clears throat> excuse me I don't drink it to try to enjoy it I drink it because I want to benefit from it hear me <clears throat> I think I'll say that again I don't do it because I want to enjoy it I do it because I want to benefit for it. There's a difference. There's a difference. Um, some of you are on jobs. You don't do the job because you like it. You do the job because you want to benefit and reap the pay of it. You, you get me? You you understand what I'm saying? So again, with that same uh, mindset or that same perception, begin to view your health. Make yourself. Oh my God. Make yourself a priority. I'm going to take a little sip of this water. Yes, and I want you guys, get your glasses out. Get your wine glasses, your nice goblets and stuff, and start putting your water, putting your water in. You know, um, and I'm going to get back to what I was saying about talking about um, uh, investing in yourself, but... For those of you that don't like water, you say, oh, new water is just nasty. I, I don't like it. The only way I can drink it, I, can, I need to add some, some crystal like the, the packets that has all of this artificial stuff. When I talk about drinking water, I'm talking about pure H2O. And if you don't like it, let's do a game changer. Let's, let's begin with put in a slice of lemon which is so wonderful. So many uh, amazing benefits for, for lemon. Uh, it helps curb uh, what, uh, weight loss. So we can add a little bit of strawberries that are so delicious. We can add that to our water. Several slices of water, uh, of strawberries. And I love strawberries. They are oh, so have potassium and uh, vitamin C, all of these amazing uh, things. Um, you know, I have this mango here, and I love mangoes. You know, oh, and the smell of it. This one is so ready. But I, I sliced one a little bit early, so you can add some mango to your water. Yes, you can. You can add some mango. We, we're gonna do a little more mango. And just want to show you my strawberries. Of course, those did not uh, come out of the ones I'm growing, but I have been eating those. But take this, let this water, I, I put it in this glass so that we be visible, but take your pitcher or get you some glass um, <clears throat> bottles or mason jars and let this water sit for several, several hours. Um, not only will you be drinking uh, more of a flavorful, natural uh, water, um, but you will also be benefiting from um, the health benefits of this water. So doesn't this water look amazing? I want you guys to just focus on that. Oh yes, this looks so amazing. But begin to sip on and drink some infused Fruit, water, mango, lemon, and strawberry. As they say, learn to turn up. Turn up your water. That's what I'm going to say on this water challenge, to turn up your water. Um, 
uh, you guys are so dear to me. You're, you're very dear to me. And I just love encouraging people and motivating people because we're missing out on so much. Um, water is the game changer to so many different things. Those of you that have very dry skin, it's because a lot of times you're dehydrated. I know in different regions because of the winters and harshness and um, the heat, some people, and even as we age, a lot of us, we begin to, um, you know, collagen is lessened and different things. Um, we, we deal with um, dry skin. But yes, um, water would aid you in that. Make sure you're drinking water. A lot of you have dangers because you're not drinking enough water. A lot of you have dry hair because you're not drinking enough water. Now, if you're doing your water and you're still experiencing those things, that's why you need your, your body lotions. We want to uh, use our good shea butters and coconut oils and um, cocoa butter, all of those amazing things. Vitamin E, we want to put on our skin and make sure, just make sure, don't, don't walk around crusty and rusty. Make sure you are loving on yourself moisturizing your skin make sure ladies i know this is summertime make sure you have those pedicures if you can't afford to go to um, and get your feet done make sure you're doing them yourself get your puma stone make sure you're um you know slogging away that dead skin i am one i have my own puma stone and i do mine um religiously <laughs> Uh, summer winter all of that good stuff I take care of my feet um, every now and then I do go and, and, and get my own you know pedicure but I do uh, like doing my own I like to make sure uh, because it doesn't look good it doesn't look good to see women um, nobody but especially women to have a you know to be out with nice uh, sling bags or nice sandals or different things and the heels don't look good. The toes don't look good. So uh, if they're not looking good, just just don't put them out. But anyway, um, invest in yourself. But um, going back to what I was saying, making yourself a priority, it is so important. Um, I know so many of you all have to be caregivers. Some of you may have young children. You may have young grandkids that you have to um aid or help in rearing and parenting and all those different things but before you can really love on somebody else before you can give the best that you can give to others you need to make sure you're taking out time and depositing into yourself mentally physically and again last but not least spiritually we must pour into our vessels the word of god we must um, know what God says about us and we must believe what God says about us and we must speak those things and we, we must live out those things. Uh, we need the word of God. We need God. We need his direction. We need him to speak to us. We need him to uh, lead and guide us because we can do great things through God. I'm here to tell you the sky is the limit. And I want to tell you, you can do this. You can do it. Um, you can't, you got to be patient with yourself. See, that's something a lot of you are not. You're not patient with yourself. A lot of times you guys measure yourself by somebody else and you look at somebody else and because it looks easy or they are at a place they've achieved something and you try to do it, but you don't know their story. You don't know their struggles. You don't know their failures. You don't know how they may have to cry or or really what they uh, had to go through. Um, I'm here to tell you, even when I started my walking journey this June, actually this month, um, June 15, 2013, I started my walking journey. I joined Girl Trek, and those of you that know, um, um, it is the largest um, nonprofit uh, organization for black women that focuses on better health but when I when I joined that and I took the challenge to walk at least five days a week 30 minutes a day I'm here to tell you when I was out there 
and I began in the month of June. Oh my God. Oh my God. Five minutes seems like, it seemed as if an hour. When I was out there, I was saying to myself, oh my God. I was huffing and puff puffing and keep in mind, I'm not a very large person, but I was so out of shape. Um, I tell you, I was like, God, you know, will you help me? And I would just take, I said, God, just help me to do five minutes. Help me to do five minutes. And, and, and I'm telling you, it was a struggle. But I would begin to do that consistently. I was focused on that first five minutes. And when my, my, um, Matt, my walk would talk back to me and say, whatever, five minutes or whatever, and gave me, give me my pace. My point is this. You got to stay consistent. You got to just um, take small segments. It's all a mind thing. You can overwhelm the mind. The mind can be so overwhelming. It'll tell you you can't do it. It'll tell you it's too much. It'll tell you it's too hard. It'll tell you that it's impossible. It'll tell you, well, you don't want to invest that much time. But you have to tell yourself, we can do this. We're going to do this. If you break your goal down and you accomplish that first, like I say sometimes, every little step counts. Every small change counts will help propel you into a larger change. I don't know who I'm talking to on today, but I hope somebody is getting something out of this because you got to know going in, you can do it. You can do it. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy, but I'm telling you it is achievable. There's a saying, how bad do you want it? I'm going to ask you the question on today. How how much do you value yourself? How much do you value your wholeness and your health? How, how much do you value it? Because so many people have left here prematurely. And I promise you, if those people could come back and understand that it was something that they could have done different or that they should have followed the doctor's order or they shouldn't have ate this or they should have been drinking more of this, I promise you they will tell you, if I'm given the opportunity to come back, I would do things differently. Somebody needs to make a wake-up call on today. I'm serious. I'm serious. You, you got to know where you are. And I hope it, it, with this video you are examining yourself. I know for some of you, it's like I try and I want to and I want to, but every time I start, something throws me off. Yes, there are going to be distractions. I'm here to tell you it is a war. And you got to understand this. This does not want you to win. It does not want you to be healthy. It wants to control you. These inner cravings and all these different things. Because this flesh wants what it wants. When it wants. It doesn't matter. It knows that a lot of things are not good for you. And it's not good for me. But it's saying to us, oh, I want it. And you know what? I just want to take a little sip. You know what? <clears throat> we we got to get to the place of understanding that we can't go with everything that feels good. That, that, that food is good for just a moment. You indulge. Everybody wants to indulge. They want to indulge in something that's temporary. That food is temporary because once you eat it, it goes through the, uh, the saliva, takes it into the, the digestion system, and it's broken down, and we know that it's eliminated. It's gone. So that flesh is looking for something else again. Something else that it can consume itself. Um, we got to take another look. We got to take another look. But I'm saying on today, reevaluate number one this. You got to re reevaluate um, what you want out of life. You want to gotta reevaluate what are you doing? What aren't you doing? A lot of you are doing the right things. I want to I want to talk to these type of people on today. Those of you that are doing the right things, you know, you a lot of times you, you guys you do the meal prep, you go to the grocery store, you have purchased the food, you're saying, "Okay, I'm going to start. I'm going to cook this, I'm going to do this." <clears throat> Excuse me. 
But somewhere in the middle of the week, you get thrown off. You have the right concept. You have the right information. But what you lack is consistency. You lack being intentional. You got to have to say to my, yourself, if God is still blessing me to be alive, and if I'm hearing this video on today, today is a day that I decide to make a change. See, let me say this. Change first starts here. It's in the mind. There has to be a shift in the mind. There has to be transformation of the mind. You have to understand where you are. You got to understand. You, you've got to do. You need, like the Bible says, if you judge yourself, you need not be. In, and we need to do inventory on ourselves. We need to do inventory. We need to be real with ourselves. If something you don't like, you have the power to help change it. A lot of you, even with medication, now, yes, some of you, you, you got to have medication. You, you got to have some things for now. For now, if you need, if you consistently would take the medication for the time being till you can get that body regulated, like cholesterol, Lipitor, I know back in the day that was a, that was one of the meds my aunt would have to take, but I know there's a new one out there. But if you get in, if you get in um, sync with that, being consistent with that, once you 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 get in that regulated, you can begin to do some things: exercise, water, eating better, and you can get off that medicine. You can get off that medicine. Let those of you that are on medication seek to drink more water eat more healthier and work better so that the doctors can see your your doctor can see that you're becoming more healthier your numbers are are, are looking amazing to the point that you can get off of the medicine do not get stuck and do not accept staying on medicine for the rest of your lives. A lot of you saying, I want God to heal me, but God is saying, you have the power. A lot of things we're asking God to do. And as Pastor Morris I always say, my husband say, God can do anything, but God is not going to do everything. We must learn to be proactive. We must be learn to be proactive with God, take the word of God and be proactive. Proactive is this, what I have the ability to do, that's what God wants us to do. That means I can keep my mouth closed and I don't have to consume that food. I can open my mouth and eat something healthy like this or eat something like this mango that will benefit me and keep my mouth closed uh, opposed to eating um, this huge steak. A lot of you are eating too much red meat. You, you constantly eat too much red meat and you know it stays in your system so long it is hard to digest and so many different things. You want to be blessed. You got to learn how to be proactive with God and that's in every, any and every aspect of your life. Uh, I, I want to hit on something for a moment. Just go Bible for a moment. Ruth and Naomi. Ruth and Naomi. Naomi was uh, Ruth's mother-in-law. And, you know, you hear the story about people say, uh, Boaz, you know, I'm waiting on my Boaz. But God gave Naomi a strategy, and he mapped it out so well. And Naomi... Uh, Ruth was so dedicated to her mother-in-law and she took it on. She said, your God is my God. Your people, you know, your people are my people. But nevertheless, God gave her the plan, Naomi. And Naomi gave Ruth instructions what to do, where to go, go to the field, uh, be in the way so that uh, Boaz would see her, go down to the threshing room, you know, uh, dress yourself up, fix, fix yourself up. He'll be down there at night. And so we can see, and, and we know the story. They got together, got married, and, and, and just, just awesomeness. My point is this. There are some things you're waiting for God to do. God is saying you have the power to do it. When you step out, I will get in it, and I will bless you. When we begin to make changes, 
doing these things, we're going to see the benefits and God will give us the strength. He will give us the willpower. He will give us the mindset. He will give us the endurance to do these things. So, um, I just want to say to you all, you can do this. Stop looking at what you, the past is behind you. I don't care if you've tried a hundred times and you have not been successful in losing weight. You haven't been successful in, um, I don't know what it is. It, it could be something even not pertaining to health. I'm saying to you on today, you make up your mind. I can do this. I want you to start saying, I can do this. I can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthens me. You got to get empowered. You got to get empowered. You got to know that you've been fearfully and wonderfully made. And we have the ability to do any and everything that we want to do. Now, if you can stay up and burn the midnight uh, uh, oil uh, and stay up and study while working full time, married with children, grandkids, and all these type of things, and still go on a job and achieve a degree, that's sacrifice. That is sheer sacrifice. So if you can do that, you're going to tell me you don't have the ability, the willpower uh, to make better choices in what you're putting into your body. I beg the difference. The only reason you would say that because you're not at a place that you're really ready to do it. Where there's a will, there is a way. I'll say that again. Where there's a will, there is a way. And we know anything that we want. And we know, you know, there have been some things that we wanted, even if we felt it was out of our reach. We made the necessary means or we made the right connections. We did what we needed to do. So I know we have that I can get it done and I can make it happen in our DNA. It's just whether or not we want to do it. And we got to get serious about this thing. We really, we, we really got to get serious about this thing. Health. Don't wait till you get sick. Don't start getting healthy just to recover from a sickness and then go back and be foolish and walk down the same path that got you in a condition that you just got um, raised up from. We, we, we got to do better. We got to elevate our mind. We have to elevate our mind. We have to. We, we have to. We, we, so many of us, we're, we're not at our best. We're not able to um, perform and do what we're really supposed to be doing in the kingdom. Even on an everyday basis because we're not at our best. Sleep. So many of us need to understand the art of sleep. Of getting that deep sleep. That sleep where your mind shuts down. Where your body shuts down. Where your cells are renewed. Where your cells are replenished. When you're rested, you look better. You sound better. You respond better. And you embrace people better. But when you haven't rested, you're irritable, you're short, you're mean, and you're rude. And you really can't focus because all you want is some sleep. You, you just want some sleep. Some of you are not even able to function as well as you, you need to. Some of you are not even able to just get your um, the deadlines that you have because you're, you're, you're very sluggish, you're very tired. And you'd rely on coffee and other caffeines and sodas, Mountain Dews, which they tell me that is so loaded with um, sugars to give you that, that, that rush, that, that push to do what you need to do. But do it the healthy way. Exercise. Do it the healthy way. Eat better. Do it the healthy way. Put water in your body. You know, get your juices. Do all these these other things. I really hope I'm helping somebody on today. I had no intentions of being on here this long, but uh, I, I just so thank you guys, Patricia, Debbie, Xavier, um, that, that are on here. 
um, watching. <clears throat> but um, again, oh, Pastor Joe, thank you so much. But <clears throat> we got to do better. Don't, 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 um, don't, don't die. None of us want to die premature death. And I have to deal with death for a moment. Um, you know, we want to finish our assignment. Each and every one of us. You know, God created Adam and Eve. And then we know from there, um, everybody else has come down. But we have purpose. We have an assignment. Do you feel like you're doing everything that you're supposed to do? I'm not doing everything, but I'm striving. I'm striving. And one of the things I have been called to do, I've been called to encourage people. I have the gift of encouragement, and I love encouraging people because it's from my heart. I want us to be the best and to just, you know, do life. Um to just live out our passion. Whatever your passion is, do it. I mean, there's so many passions out there. There are crafts and just creating things and just being there for people. Pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on to somebody. Um, you know, it's beautiful. It's beautiful when you give from your heart. It is so rewarding. It is so rewarding. And um, I tell you, I have to call her out. She may not even see this video, but uh, Minister Claudette um, Guthrie from Chicago, when I uh, posted I was doing the water challenge, she was like, it's about time. And I'm saying to myself, yeah, it really has. I have been meaning to do one on a number of occasions because most of you all know I, I try to do them at least three, maybe four times a year. But I said, you know, hopefully people would jump on this water challenge because we're halfway, um, we're in the sixth month. We only have six more months to go. And I know in January, everybody, everybody is pumped up at the beginning of the year. They're so excited about, you know, I'm going to um, do better. I'm going to the gym and I'm going to do this and this and this and this and this. And it's like some people don't even make it the first 30 days. And I was like, you know what? Um, I don't know where people are and they may have been struggling or whatever. So hopefully they will embrace this water challenge. And one of the benefits of this water challenge is not just to get you um, to drink in water, but so many people down through the years and Angel and Vivian and so many people, Patricia, they, are, they have done this challenge. And what the water challenge starts it propels people to, because of the benefits that they've experienced for those 30 days, they see that they make some changes, they feel better, they've lost some weight. It propels them into their health journey. It puts them on their health journey. Um, Evangelist Sheila Dudley, um, she usually does this challenge as well. So that is one of the purposes as well, um, to jumpstart. So, you know, as a result, um, last year, um, after doing so many water challenges, you know, God had put in my spirit a couple of years ago, but I, I started the healthiest wealth teleconference call. Um, I started with the sincere water participants and I'm here to tell you, God has really blessed us on that call. And, um, they have some phenomenal, phenomenal, um, testimonies and we're just there as family to just encourage each other to just keep going you know yeah, we there everybody shares their struggles they we celebrate triumphs and that's something I want to say always celebrate your success every success small or large is to be celebrated learn to celebrate yourself if you do something I mean, maybe um, maybe you had a quota on your job. You have to process so many things. Or, uh, Brother Xavier, you have to get so many packages delivered in such a time. Learn to celebrate yourself. Just like, oh, yeah. You know, like, oh, my God, I did that. Um, you got to learn to celebrate yourself. Be your own cheerleader. And my husband would tell you, um, 
you know, I, I he, he'll, he'll tell you, I, I, I love to like, dear, I did that. Guess what? I'm like, oh my God, Lord, I thank you. You know, I, I know how to be excited for myself because, you know, if I don't end up getting it for, from, from nobody else, I'm excited for me. You know, it's good to get it from other people, but I do know how to be my own cheerleader. And I thank God he gave me that. He gave me how to celebrate myself and he gave me how to inspire myself and how to motivate myself because a lot of times people need somebody else to um, push them on. But my husband would tell you, I'm like a pit bull. If something gets in my spirit, oh my God, I have tunnel vision. I am relentless and I I'm going to make it happen. So, uh, uh, you know, everybody's created different. But even in that, I still, you have to keep pouring into yourself. You got to keep pouring in um, inspiration and motivation and the word of God and, and just a whole lot of different things. You got to know how to keep pouring into yourself so that you can have that fuel to pour from. So um, it's just, it's just a blessing. It's just a blessing. And it's, I've just. I've just been blessed. I'm just in a place of peace and happiness right now. And I'm just thankful for those of you that are still on here that is listening to me because you didn't have to stay on and listen to me. Uh, Patricia, Debbie, all of you all, um, I'm appreciative. I'm so appreciative. Thank you so much. I hope I have blessed you on today. Um, hey. If you choose to pass this video on, video on to somebody else, but I'm saying unto you, you can you can do it. You can do it. And Patricia, we're praying for you that God will strengthen you as you have to take care of your mom. You know, you're in a different place, different season in your life. But to everything, there is a time and season. So God is gracing you. He's strengthening you. And we just pray that he would, you know, continue to touch your mom's body. Um, we love you. We love you. We love you all the way out there in California. I have not met Patricia before, um, but I have some amazing Facebook friends. I want to, I just want to take this moment to just talk about my Facebook friends. I have some amazing Facebook friends I have never met before, but just the interaction. Um, some of us have never verbally talked. Uh, but Patricia and I have, Angel and I, Delk out of um, California have. And some people, we, there's just a connection. I, I can tell good people the way we just interact. Um, Carolyn Smith, I think she lives in Louisville, Kentucky. I never met her, but it's some just amazing, sweet people spirit. Um, I can just discern they're good people. And I'm so thankful for, for all of you all that are amazing. I, I thank God for all of you that love me, and um, I just speak blessings over you. It's nothing like having a good family, a good um, tribe, as they say. It's nothing like it. It's nothing like it. And, and most of all, there's nothing like having nothing like a, 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 a wonderful biological family. So I thank God for my own biological family, my, all my cousins and everybody. But I just say... Um, Thank you all. Let's do better. Let's let's up it. Let's up it. Whatever we're doing, that is good. Let's take it to another level. That's what I want to say to you, Debbie. It's time to take it to a First Lady Debbie Justice. It's time to take it to another level. It's, it's another level. Whatever it is, it's another level. That's the word for the day. We're into it. It's time to take it to another level that means our thinking has to be upgraded it has to be a shift we got to want more we got to see what we're doing is more to it it's more to it we we can we we can eliminate something we can add something else we can um take our walking up to another uh, an hour uh we those of you that are doing the water maybe you're not hidden maybe you're not hidden Maybe you're supposed to be getting that 100 ounces. So right now, it's been a challenge. And so maybe you're at 35 ounces. Your goal is 50. 
when you get to 50 you got to keep working to get that 100 because you can do it that's the word you can do it you can do it you can do it um so that's what i want to say um i love you guys thank you so much thank you so much for tuning in on today and you can do it you can do it i can do it and you know this water has been infusing so just imagine imagine how this mango strawberries and lemon water is about to taste yes it's about to taste it's about to taste amazing so i'm gonna i'm gonna drink it a little bit and let you know Oh my goodness it's amazing cheers to you keep drinking keep turning it up because water is the way it's life let it be your best friend for life when you wake up over in the night to go to use the bathroom always keep a bottle or a glass of water on your nightstand always sip on that always drink water before going to bed it lessens your um chance of having a stroke or, op uh, or heart attack before taking a shower or a bath always take drink some water it helps lower your blood pressure when you first wake up in the morning um drink that water that should be the first thing that hits our system because it wakes up our organs it helps filters the body um uh, really before um eating you should drink uh, water. Uh, hips aid in our digestion. And really, and this is something that I do practice sometimes. I don't do it always. But really, when we eat, we really shouldn't drink. You should really, after eating, you, eating, you should wait about 30 minutes to allow your food to properly digest on its own. And then you can drink water or whatever beverage in um, a lot of times when sometimes you're eating um, too quickly and you're drinking and you're funny your stomach feels a little queasy as if you want to regurgitate I promise you if you learn to um, at that point I would say stop drinking and let that settle and just eat your food and then wait that 30 minutes I promise you will feel so much better but um, just let us start reading a lot of more um educating ourselves on a lot of different things because when we educate ourselves we become empowered and when we become empowered uh we will operate and implement things and we will benefit so greatly for it so i know a lot of things i said today was not anything new to some of you all or many of you all but I wanted to serve as a reminder because a lot of us and most of us know what to do but we're not doing it what good is it to have the wisdom or have the knowledge but we're not executing it so some of you may be watching this was like okay I know this I know this I know this she's not saying anything new but I want to say to you are you doing it are you reaping the benefits so I was here today to encourage you to take your life and your health so serious so many people need you so many people love you so many people want you to live a long life and they want to live their life with you so do what you can to be here longer and to feel fulfill what you're supposed to do um, I have a saying um, I ain't trying to go out like that I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to feel my best look my best all of it, it it's that's just me um, I do take pride in, in what I do uh, because I do I love me and I have a precious family that I want to be here for so Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you all. And, uh, you know, I'm going to say this. Um, um, 
my parents and, 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 uh, and my grandparents and all of them people um, other relatives we, we ate from gardens we, we my you know fields garden everything was fresh everything was fresh I mean the peas the okra the squash the cucumbers the corn the sweet potatoes um, oh my goodness tomatoes um, snap peas uh, beans field peas you you name it we had the peaches the plums we had everything blackberries we i cannot even name everything and, and my father my father he he raised pigs what they would say hogs and they slaughtered them him and my all of my uncles and my brothers they would come and they would butcher it and and my great uncle they would come and and my father he did his own bacon he knew how to cure it he knew how to uh, smoke it he knew how to salt it down the sausages that we buy the Jimmy Dean all that stuff my mother knew how to make all of that and uh, I can remember growing up we would grind that the sausages and different things and it's just so many you know you had the fresh ribs and porks and different things but they did they live they lived a very long time um, I said that in regards to it's in the plants, it's in the earth. So you, you, a lot of things you got to go back to the base basics. A lot of things we need to start learning and growing. We can grow things in pots, and um, we can benefit from that. So I'm thankful for my upbringing, and I'm thankful for my heritage, and I'm thankful for the wisdom and knowledge that's been passed down. Uh, from generations uh, in my family I'm very thankful for that so um, with that being said I'm going to get off for real for real so thank you guys I love you all be blessed and um, if you'd like it you can all share this video with someone that you feel that would be a blessing to so keep on drinking keep on posting keep on checking in you never know when you do your posts, especially Debbie, you never know who watched Deb Debbie is, I promise you every day she hits her goal. And, um, that's what I'm there to, to get, encourage you all. And Patricia has been doing so wonderful on this, this, um, this challenge this time. And like I said, she's having to take care of her mom. So she has some challenges, but she's doing so well this go around so i just commend you guys just you never know who's watching so i guess the more people that are, are posting that they're doing this water challenge and people seeing that you guys are taking it seriously maybe it would inspire them even though they may not ever click the post or make a statement that they're on the challenge they may be doing this water challenge um and we're not aware of it but they are reaping the benefits and that's what it's all about um, just helping somebody else just know you are a light you are an example somebody is watching you um, the people you reach I may never reach the people I reach um, you may never reach so just do you um, I don't know what else to say, but I, I'm I'm just happy what I'm seeing on this water challenge, and you guys rock. So keep drinking so that the water cop don't have to give you a water ticket, because you guys know I will give you a ticket, and I have find some people I have put a ticket out there and oh my goodness Tamara Griffin has gotten tickets Renee Coggins have gotten tickets Dongela Wells so there are a number of people so I love you guys be blessed thank you so much thank you so much for watching